Holmes, for heaven's sake, whatever's going on? Oh, hello, Watson. You're early. Did you kill all of your patients? What? Holmes, where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Ridiculous and dangerous. They're domestic bees. Apis mellifera. Such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. You have a new case? Yes, but nothing as thrilling as this experiment. A theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. You can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, how ever did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. Okay. Can I talk to Toby now? Hey, Toby. Oh dear, Toby. I wasn't aware that you were Watson's new literary agent. <laughs> the shred of paper. Sorry, I just want to quickly check for the letter. Don't mind me, bees. Uh, dear Mr. Holmes, I have finally found the courage to write you a letter. I can scarcely find the words to express my gratitude for your kindness. On that terrible day, I believed my life to be ruined, but at the same time, I realized there to be one person in the world who truly loved me and who I loved in return. His name we both know. He is Captain Jack Crocker. His love has given me true reason to live. Even if we cannot be together in the end, none of this could have happened without you, Mr. Holmes. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, the silver fork is my ward. So far, I am so... Okay. Now with that, off we go to Kew Gardens. And I'm just kind of curious, is this case is going to be as short? Also, there has not been talk of the Merry Men, which is apparently supposed to be the overarching. Or for all, though, that could be the last case. This is taking quite a bit some time. We're how long are we gonna be in this uh <laughs> this carriage? There we go. <laughs> well, Holmes, here we are at the Royal Botanic Gardens. There's no doubt that this place is beautiful. But are you really intent on investigating the theft of the plants? Yes, of course. Okay, why was the music so intense? What reason is f Don't touch anything else, is that clear? Just go and get a bucket of fertilizer. And without turning it over this time. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? If you are here for a visit, please do come back on Sunday. I am afraid that it cannot wait. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. We are investigating the theft of plants that took place here five days ago. A remarkable collection, I believe. So you're the one in charge, eh? A small favor for a friend. Now to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am Martin Hamish. I am the deputy director of Kew Gardens. And that fellow yonder is Albert. He works here. I am delighted to meet you. What can you tell us about the plants? They were rare and exceptional plants. We presented them at our last exhibition. We haven't removed the stand yet. It is still in the large glass house. We only learned of their disappearance the evening after the exhibition, and nobody saw anything. No doors were forced? No, but I would imagine that for a thief it would be fairly easy to gain entry, for there are no guards here. Well, if you don't mind, we will take a look. Now, you say that it is in the large glass house. 
Yes, the one just behind me. Just a second, since Albert has nothing else to do. Albert, show these gentlemen where the exhibition was held. How many people work here? Only myself, but occasionally two students, Albert, whom you have met, and Miss White. Here it is. This is the place where the stolen plants were exhibited. Thank you. Is there something the matter? Yes, there is. All right, the plants were valuable and rare, but it seems to me that the tragedy that took place here only two days ago has been entirely forgotten already. What tragedy are you referring to? My... the director of Kew Gardens, Mr. Montague Dunn. He died here just two days ago. We're very sorry. We were not aware. The two of you were good friends? He... He was my father. Oh dear, our condolences. We should not be troubling you. Please do excuse us for the intrusion. You say that he died here, in the large glass house? Holmes? Yes, just here, near the door to the colonial collection. He suffered a heart attack, just like that, so suddenly. It was terrible. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I cannot remain here. If you need me, I'll be in the reserve. That's the room next to the front of the large greenhouse. Of course, we understand. Okay. So was it a heart attack or was it murder? Here is a list of the stolen plants. Oh, okay. That's actually quite a lot of plants that were stolen. Do not touch. Okay. Oh, Watson, why did you back up straight into me? I saw that. There's video evidence of this. What is this? That's nothing. Okay. Watson, damn it. <laughs> According to Albert, this is where his father, Montague Dunn, was found dead. This sign is broken. Something heavy was dropped upon it. Okay. These boot marks are fresh. It appears as though someone was dragging their feet. The traces are thinner in some places. The footprints reveal that someone staggered here. Okay. So, was he poisoned in some way? Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. The soil on the side of this flower shelf is the same as that on the ground. Okay, that's, that's quite the astute observation. This pot was broken fairly recently. A flower pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. Uh, hmm. The esconson was breached near the handle. The door was smashed at shoulder height. This door handle is new. It was recently changed. The door was forced from the inside of the colonial collection room. The handle was changed afterwards. I think we need to inspect the colonial collection room. Wait, blood? blood. Someone fell violently against this sign, and they were injured in the clash. Most likely a head wound. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination to make sense of it all. Okay. Knocking over the pot. Falling. Determine. Okay, I'm sorry. One, two, three. Okay, wait, is that it? This reconstruction reveals a disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic, or the door was locked. Was it an accident? 
or a murder then, I wonder. I think we need to inspect the colonial collection room. Okay, well. <laughs> I mean, that. I wonder how many more of those. This visu Very strange. Half of the colonial collection is absent. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Okay, now we can investigate over there. Do you want to see... These plants come from all the territories of the British Empire. British India. Okay. Either way... The smell is strong. It is a detergent. Wait. These windows were perfectly cleaned. This broken fragment was the result of a heavy blow. How can you tell? A fragment of marble, most likely chipped from a statue or sculpture. Part of this greenhouse was emptied and thoroughly cleaned. Okay, what in the world? Montague do... Okay, I'm assuming that's going to be the moisture control. Perform an autopsy on Montague Dune. The death is suspicious. Why had he forced the door of the colonial collection room? Why had someone cleaned and emptied the room? Was a trap or simply an accident? Okay. Oh, whoa. Come on. Oh god, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of lost right now. These flower pots are beautiful. They are intended to be used for exhibition purposes. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens. Okay. Uh, alright then. That means there is a lot more for me to actually explore here. Okay, there's a bunch of ar there's archives I can look at. And then we need to, okay, so, I mean, there's still the, the, okay, oh my god, I'm perfectly stuck between Watson and whatever else. Dry Tropics. Okay, so technically, I need to find the plants as well. There is a smell of burning. What? A protective mask. Honestly, that looks kind of terrifying. Oh. Someone set it alight, but it did not burn. A broom handle was half burned. Oh, a here door go. handle? Why would anyone throw such a thing in the fire? The door handle to the colonial collection and that of the fireplace are made of the same material. Uh, what else can I look at here? The plants were set alight fairly recently. Some have not completely burned. Wow, they took they so they literally just kind of took everything in that in that room and the remains it. of a picture frame okay let's uh do the focus thing oh, what's that okay would you let me look at it please the symbol is not from q gardens okay well this is just gets more and more suspicious honestly Oh, I thought, I thought I saw something I could look at. Oh no, I'm stuck on things. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Yes, thank you. Wherever you're walking on, please continue walking further. Fine. Oh, sorry, Watson. That's definitely my fault. 
Water Lily Greenhouse. Okay, so that's where we Colonial were. Colonial Collection. So I... Dry Tropics. Reserve. I didn't go check... I didn't check the palm. Should I... You want... I'm going to check the palm house very quickly. Because this kind of looks like a dead end here. And then I can make my way back out. Or can we... Maybe we can actually... There's a shortcut here. Okay, or not. Listen, I just want to make my way back to the... the nursery. Damn it. <laughs> I've lost my way. Don't mind me. Continue to look. Can I help you, gentlemen? Oh. Okay, first off, we're just gonna look at the palm house here. I will be back to ans to ask you some questions. There's nothing here, I'm disappointed. Okay. What's it? Get out of my way. Okay. Uh let's have a look around first. I don't know if I can ask him anything more. Now let's see if I could... Okay. Something about grief. Oh yeah, okay. Consumed by grief. Uh, clean hands. And I, I can't... Something about the cut. I think this. Shaving cut. Okay, and the only other thing would be the clean hands. Okay, not much of a character profile, but whatever. Hmm. Uh, do you work here? Yes, but part-time only. For I'm also studying botany at the University of London. You're following in your father's footsteps, then that is commendable. Well, even if botany is not my strongest suit, there are people who say that I could be a good manager. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Okay. Sorry, I saw the newspaper and thinking, is this something I can look at? Now... I'm going about this all wrong, but I'm going to make my way back. Locked. Oh, what? Okay. The nursery is locked, you say. Locked. The seed house is locked. Locked. Do I need to read that? Oh wait, sorry. Locked. No, this... no I went to nursery. nursery. I don't know if he's like, oh, I didn't read where this was and I don't know that's locked. Um... Just covering my bases here. My bases. Oh wait. I didn't look here. A water tank. A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. A ventilation object of interest. Okay. To imagine anything else. So something we can we will grab later on. Okay. So yeah, and this is gonna be locked, right? Locked. Yeah. Okay. The seed house and the nursery are locked. I don't know if I need to talk to um the, I guess, the current manager of this place. Let's have a chat, sir. 
If I get near enough to you. Myopic inexpensive glasses. Okay. Uh is that Unmarried, I think is this one. Dirty collar. Gardener hands, is that is the, what the other one says? Oh, uh I was okay. Well what about the gar gardener hands? This one? There we go. <laughs> Would you unlock the doors for us? Do you expect to find the stolen plants there? I am sorry, but those rooms are private. Okay. Albert told us about the tragic death of Mr. Dunn, the late director of Kew Gardens. Tragic indeed. His heart attack was quite unexpected. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Okay. He wouldn't give us the... Okay, so I have a bunch of... things to look at here. Okay, so there's one more person I still have not met. Oh, right. Actually, I'm assuming because these are a bit more... these are not grayed out like these ones, there's two more people up. So I think there's the other person who's working here. I'm not quite sure who this is. Either way, I need to head back to... Let me look at... Oh, we need to do the autopsy too, but... Let's look at the... Look at our archive. Okay, stolen plant list. So I'm gonna assume the Cyclopedia, Economic Science, Technology, History, Medicine, Botany. <laughs> These plants have a certain toxicity in common, more or less variable. Uh, Carnivorous. Okay, only the first three can be dangerous to humans, particularly Florum diabolica, but only under very specific conditions. The plant should react to, to a process of aggression against which it will issue deadly spores. Ah, well. Here it is. This is also part of getting rid of the evidence, huh? Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, symbols on the broken pot. This glyph means divine if, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so that... Look, I'm Chinese, I'm gonna assume. I don't know if... Uh... Yeah, I'm just trying to think. History, medicine, botany. This medicine, which not really going to help us. Ancient Egyptian. Architect. That is not... Yeah, okay. Um, just checking. Okay. So if not that, then the newspaper? I'm just trying to think. Symbol in a broken pot, flower pot found in the backyard. That or... That is not the one I need. The divine thing here is supposed to be the clue, so to speak. Jack the Ripper. Ah. That is not the one I need. Scandal of the Divine Syndicate? Nope, okay, not that. Anything else with Divine? 
Divine, divine, divine. Okay. Oh, wait. Research. Oh, there's, there is another. Whoops. Okay, well. Criminalistics, martial arts. Marks and symbols. Here we go. Divine Scholastic Syndicate for Vegetation Veneration. The members of this syndicate worship Chuin, the God King. They strive to obtain spiritual peace and release themselves from the material world so generous donations are appreciated. Here it is. The Divine Syndicate is not a supplier to Kew Gardens. Besides, there is no address here. Okay. And the last one is... More symbols. I don't know... Here we go. <laughs> Seymour's Garden, Garden Equipment Supplies. We are a premium supplier of all your landscape gardening and timber requirements. Full range, supply and delivery of sand, soils, mulches, pots, and anything you may need. Here it is. Anything else you may need. Okay, so that's everything there. So now we're gonna... Sorry. Just wanna see if anything else showed up. What in the world? Huh. Well then. <laughs> Please don't take a weird turn. <laughs> this case. I asked Inspector Lestrade to take Montague Dunn's body to Scotland Yard. It's ready for autopsy then. Okay, well. There shouldn't be anything there, so. Morgue. Down below we go. First of all, let us carry out an external examination. Okay. No redness, stings, or bruises. Okay, what about this side? Nothing suspicious here. Right. Oh. There is an injury to the skull, most probably caused by the fall in the water lily greenhouse. The vessels and the pupil of the eye appear quite normal. The air from the lungs carries a faint floral aroma. Hmm. I'm sorry, how did you, did you like compress on his chest to get ex an exhale from the There lungs? are no suspicious marks upon the chest. Let us finish our external examination so that we can proceed with the autopsy. Now, let us examine the internal organs. Okay. Oh, they interesting, they cover the face. Oh, they're we're just gonna take the whole entire lung out. The All lungs right. are congested and edematous. Oh, that's not edematous? Whoa, what the The tissue on the inferior lobe of the right lung is damaged, most probably caused by toxins from an unknown plant. Okay, well, this is very... The heart's blood vessels show no pathological signs. Okay. Surprise it's not Watson that's talking throughout this. The heart tissue shows no visible pathological signs. Okay, so AK wasn't a heart attack. I'm just going to assume that's the conclusion from the that. The liver is enlarged. It would seem that he was suffering from an alcohol addiction. The liver tissue is brown. There are no visible pathological signs. The stomach tissues show no visible pathological signs. Oh, wait. There is a small amount of content. It appears that he breakfasted lightly, only a short while before his death. I 
suspicions have been substantiated. Montague Dunn, the director of Kew Gardens, died from poisoning. Plant poisoning, to be more exact. You mean... Yes, it is murder. We should inform Lestrade. Yes, but do remember, Watson, that I discovered the murder. The challenge is mine. The challenge, Holmes? We need to locate that deadly plant. Such a perfect murder appeals to me. Murder of any kind appeals to you. Is that all we need to do? No. We also have the people working at Kew Gardens. Martin Hamish and the son of the victim, Albert Dunn. And also Miss White, of whom we spoke with Mr. Hamish. Should we bring them all here for interrogation? No. A few innocuous questions at Kew will suffice, as well as a discreet delve into their personal affairs. Yes, Watson, it is time now to open the doors. Even those in the staff building? I suppose that is necessary. We should also be concerned with the victim himself. After all, we don't know very much about Montague Dunn. You're enjoying this already, aren't you? <laughs> More than a little. Okay. <sighs> okay, that was poisoned. And the theft and murder killers may be those who stole the exotic plants, including the deadly species from the last exhibit. Okay. So only two things to look at. So. Oh boy. Uh, okay, we still need to find the, st find the stolen plants. Find out who killed Mr. Montague. Inspect staff building. Find the plants used. Okay, so either way, head to Kew Gardens. Wow, these are uh, are taking way longer in terms of to load this the section. Or just something about the well, actually, it's just the getting to the garden itself is taking a bit longer to load. So I'm, I mean, all the little aspects of plants and details, I guess, would be. Wow. Okay. Well, we had just so many to talk to you about. Mr. Hamish, can you explain to us what happened to the colonial collection? It seems somewhat depleted. But, uh, oh, most likely maintenance work, tidying up. You're not sure, then? But you're the deputy director. Well, I am busy. I cannot be everywhere at once. As deputy director, how was your relationship with Montague Dunn? To be honest with you, Mr. Holmes, it could have been better. You see, every Tuesday he would carry out his inspection of the gardens, but it was solely to make an impression, great pretense that he cared at all. He would give out absurd orders, ignoring anyone else's opinion. He would then disappear for the rest of the week. He was what some might call a man of action. I'd say rather he was overzealous and chaotic. So after all, it was no wonder, perhaps, that he ended up like that, if you take into consideration his kind of lifestyle. You mentioned that Mr. Dunn led a particular lifestyle. Well, it's no secret that he enjoyed, uh, celebrating, shall we say? He was a member of the London Smart Set. He was famous for it. That and... And? He had an eye for the ladies, to put it mildly, Mr. Holmes. What is your opinion of Albert as a student of botany? He's useless. I often tell him so. And I can only give him cleaning tasks. Botany is not his life's work. And his father well knew it. He was furious about it. He was? Oh, yes. He forced his son to work here. And he never missed an opportunity to criticize him publicly. Are you able to elaborate on that? Well, 
For example, with our last exhibition here, Mr. Dunn had Albert make a presentation speech. But then, while the lad was speaking, Mr. Dunn interrupted him, asking him difficult questions, making him look like a failure. It was with the intention of making a fool of him, Mr. Holmes. That must have been terribly humiliating. Yes, he was crushed, and he had to leave. Everybody was making fun of poor Albert. That is, except for Miss Margaret White, who is such a nice lady and who always takes pity on Albert. You tell me, Oops. Mr. Hamish, do you grow the more deadly variety of plant here? You mean insectivorous? Yes, but nothing larger than that. You mentioned a Miss White. Would you tell us more about her? She is a student who works here part-time. She is quite charming indeed. She possesses a great talent for botany. You should take a look at some of her experiments that she carried out in the laboratory. Ah, if only she were not so naive. Why naive? The way she used to flutter around Mr. Montague Dunn. And he... why, he couldn't help but be flattered by all her attention. How could an intelligent woman such as Miss White not see through his game? I can only scratch my head and wonder. Hmm. Unless she is very well aware of the game. Are you aware of the Divine Syndicate? The Divine what? Is this a joke? No, I am quite serious. What a ridiculous name. Anyway, I have never heard of this syndicate. Mr. Hamish, can you tell us who holds the keys to the locked greenhouses? That would be Albert, Mr. Dunn's son. Yes, Albert keeps all the keys, and one can only imagine why. What do you mean? Well, he was never interested in Kew Gardens before. And now, all of a sudden, he is trying to act as if he owns the place. I think he wants to take over the management here. <laughs> He'd do better to leave that to me. He has no experience. No, none at all. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Okay. Right, lots and lots of questions to ask. Particularly, I need the keys. Who is Miss Margaret White? Ah, she is the young lady who studies with me. She visits here sometimes to help out with the greenhouses. In fact, she should be here today. She wanted to work at the seed house. That's the small greenhouse across from the large glass house. We noticed that a part of the colonial collection has been cleared. Ah, oh, at the moment I'm just dealing with the storage room. I don't know much about the other rooms. Okay. I imagine that your relationship with your father may have been a strained one. Yes. I cannot say that he was a kind man, for he never listened to me at all. He forced me to work here. But now, after his death, I've been pondering it over. Perhaps he wasn't so wrong about me after all. I have to follow his path, and I have to manage Kew Gardens. And I can do it. I can be as good as any other who works here. Would you please tell us about Martin Hamish, the Deputy Director? Well, I have to tell you that Mr. Hamish is not and has never been the Deputy Director of Kew Gardens. My father would not have tolerated it. Indeed. Well, that is most interesting. He told us that he was. Yes, because he believes that the management should be passed down to him now that my father is dead. But in actual fact, Mr. Hamish only has the honor of being the garden's longest-serving employee. In fact, if we are to think logically at all, it should be me who takes over the management of Kew Gardens. Do you not have a good relationship with Mr. Hamish? I suppose so. But we have very little in common. Mr. Hamish loves his plants and Kew Gardens, and I cannot say that I share his passion. I see. And how was his relationship with your father? Oh, he hated my father. It was obvious. He would be furious whenever my father boasted of Kew Gardens in the newspapers or at conferences. He was convinced that my father was stealing all of the credit for himself. But my father treated Mr. Hamish in the same way as he treated anyone. Dismissively. With indifference. <laughs> Wonderful guy. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Divine Syndicate? No. I cannot say that I have. Do you hold the keys to all of these locked doors? Yes, you can have them. But I cannot give you the keys to the cloakroom. 
The employee's effects are private. I am sure you understand. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Okay, what clue can I... Did I not already do this? Okay. Why... I thought it said that I had something I could put together. Okay, what did it say? I thought, hmm, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, I'm not sure if I should end this set here or not. It's like, I don't know how long this case is going to be. That said, there's still a lot more to investigate, at the very least. Okay, that's the office door. Uh, well, let's just have a look around. What? The window? Or this window here? This poster is for an exhibition that Martin Hamish was directing. But it had nothing to do with Kew Gardens. The University of Oxford Botanic This certificate Gardens. belongs to Martin Hamish. He won a horticultural competition. We can see the interior of the Colonial Collection Room from this window. Okay. A glasses case. It is empty. Because he's wearing his glasses right now? A thesis, written by Martin Hamish. This area serves as Martin Hamish's office. Okay, thank God. I was like, please don't tell me I have to read this thesis. Whoa, that scared me. An award presented to Martin Hamish for Best Grower of the Year. A master's degree diploma. It belongs to Martin Hamish. Okay, so he's well educated and... I guess decorated is one way to put it. These young plants must be delicate if they are kept in the nursery. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, there literally is nothing else. Okay. The seeds of plant species are stored here. What about in here? Nope. Okay, there's nothing else to look at here. Can't look underneath this tarp. Oh, Watson. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna fight you on this. Oh, into the... Thank you.